Yo, what's up guys? Joker here bringing you another video for Throne and Liberty. This is going to be a short one, but an impactful one. So Throne and Liberty had an update, update 1.3, and this actually does bring some notable changes. Instead of just reading it to you, I figured I could show you the changes that I feel like are most notable, um, just because I feel like it'll be easier, right? So let's jump right into it. You know what? I'll kind of do both. So the first thing that I want to address is in gameplay, and it's in crafting right here. Crafting adjusted the crafting materials for rare blank lithograph recipes. These no longer differentiate between epic and precious ink and simply use enchanted ink as material. So unless you played the Korean version, you don't know that we were kind of locked in the lithograph system where we were not able to actually make rare lithographs, which meant that progressing the gear was kind of unnecessarily harder than it had to be so what they went ahead and did is they changed the enchanted ink to work for rare and epic lithographs now to make a rare blank lithograph you need rare parchment enchanted ink rune uh rare rune leather rare polished crystals and rare stallion where you get the enchanted ink is going to be the ornate coin shop and I believe you might be able to get it from the Battle Pass shop as well. Let me double check. No, you cannot. That part was wrong. Uh, you can only get it from the ornate, uh, the ornate shop. And as soon as I buy one, I'll be able to tell you where else. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to buy some enchanted ink and let's see where else it says we can find these you can get them oh at the contract merchants i'm an idiot i knew that uh but yeah you so you can buy it from the ornate coin shop or the uh contract coin merchants what you do with these is you're going to be turning them into the rare lithographs right and then you are going to be using these rare lithographs on your gear, right? Previously, we had no way of doing this, but now we do. So for any piece of rare gear, it is now going to have a, the option to be turned into a lithograph. I made the wrong thing, so we're going to use boots for this example. Um, because then I'd have to go get more materials and do it for that. But yeah. Then you're going to go ahead and use the lithograph. Why are you going to want to do this? Is This is going to go ahead and give you the crafting ability. On top of that, even better than that, I don't think there's going to be any here. Yeah, oh, there's literally one. But it is going to allow you to sell these on to the auction house to make some good loosen. Uh, especially if you're some of the first people. Because this is going to really help us fill out the lithograph book, which overall is going to be giving us more of the epic items, right? As well as a shit ton of materials. So that's the main point for it is to help you fill it out since rare gear is not really like a milestone like you use it for a little while but you don't want to use it for in an extended period of time and then here is the contract merchant i don't have any done right now but where is it enchanted ink right here right and then you can also buy the rare parchments apart from that the other thing that i wanted to address is going to be down here we uh, increased HP and damage buff applied when matchmaking dungeon groups from 5 to 10%, right? So they essentially doubled the buff that we had going into matchmaking, hopefully making the random matchmaking, which was already significantly terrible, uh, better right uh it went ahead and it gave us more hp and more damage to trying to to try to i guess brute force these dungeons as well as it made it impossible to kick party members out when you're on the final boss and um there is new now a new random dungeon that you can queue for 
let's say that you just have your 4,500 dungeon tokens and you're not really trying to get a piece of gear specifically. You just need to get through your a bit your dungeon tokens, right? So you don't actually waste them. I'm um, sorry, not waste them. You're not actually just sitting at cap and wasting the ability to gain more. That's what I meant to say. There is this random dungeon up here and all you would go ahead and do is queue up like this and oh shit literally instantly dude that that is pretty good i am gonna have to be toxic though and reject it just because uh once human also started its new next um scenario the second pve scenario the way of winter and i'm planning on playing that with a bunch of friends so i cannot queue up for a dungeon right now because if you're not first you're last and i have to make videos for once human so yeah that's pretty much it the couple of things that i wanted to show off the big changes for 1.3 that are pretty huge but there are also not that many of them but once again they are pretty big the small ones that we did get but yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with this and future content. And until next time, take care.